The late Kapere, according to his close friends, experienced flu-like symptoms before being diagnosed with the coronavirus on the 5th of this month, which subsequently led to his untimely death two days later. A small number of family and friends gathered at the Parliament Gardens to reflect on the life of what many affectionately described as a gentle giant, mainly attributed to his gentle and humble nature. In a message on behalf of the late leader's political home, Swapo Party, newly appointed diplomat Margaret Mensa Williams says they were shocked to learn of the passing of the young and dynamic leader. He was one of the young Swapo Party members of the Central Committee and also a member of Swapo Party in Parliament on a Swapo ticket. Comrade Capere was ever ready for party missions and deployment. He served as a member of the administration, administrative committee of the Mualima Julius Nyerere Leadership School, a party school for the former liberation movements, representing Swapo Party. He has also served as a chairperson of the national leaders assigned to the Hardap region. Swapo Party has therefore lost a dedicated, young, dynamic leader, and above all, a true pan-Africanist. An ally and friend of the late Kapere, Erongo Governor Neville Andre, in his tribute on behalf of friends, recounts the late politician's profound leadership skills in student activism and politics, describing him a God-fearing man. He understood that he will serve the Lord in any church. So he invited different, he visited different churches and would invite us to attend the church services with him. He would also invite us to attend the family evening devotions that was always held every Sunday at Ambassador Kapere's residence. And that is to show that he's coming from a God-fearing family. His wife, in an emotional tribute read on her behalf by the late Capere's eldest sister, Liberta, shared how she met the late Capere in Algeria through a mutual friend before instantly falling in love and spending 10 years in marriage. I did not want to be a single mother. I do not want to be called a widow. I do not want to be alone, but more than that, I do not want to be with anyone else. I pray that one day God will make me understand, and one day he will make answer the question why I only had 10 years with you. I have to be strong because our children need me. They need me not only because I'm their mom, but because I knew their dead and the dreams that he had for them. Meanwhile, in a message of condolences read on his behalf, President Hake Keingop also hailed Kapere as one of the brightest stars, a gentle giant and an irreplaceable young leader. In Mandela Kapere, I saw a great potential and held high hopes for him given the fact that he was amongst a new cohort of youthful parliamentarians who could infuse some energy into our political debates. Although this young man has left our earthly presence, the impact that he made at the National Youth Council and beyond cannot be allowed to wane. It is now up to others to pick up the baton and continue to run the race Mandela ran with the same dignity and humility. The late Kapere will be buried tomorrow at the Pioneers Park Cemetery in the capital.